everyone! Today we'll be reviewing the national flag of the Solomon Islands. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. The flag consists of a thin diagonal yellow stripe, which runs from the lower hoist to the upper fly. The stripe divides the flag into a blue upper triangle and green lower triangle. The canton is charged with five white five-pointed stars arranged in an X shape. Overall, this is a fairly simple design, though the stars and their layout, as well as the arrangement of the colors, makes the flag slightly tricky to draw accurately from memory. For this principle, the flag scores 9 out of 10. The flag was adopted in 1977 shortly before the country gained independence. It replaced this flag, which was the last of a number of flags flown while the country was ruled by Britain. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Blue represents water in the form of the Pacific Ocean, rain, and rivers. Green symbolizes the land, along with the trees and crops which grow on the land. Yellow represents the sun. Originally, the five stars represented the five districts of the country. The number of districts in the country has increased over the years, and the symbolism of the stars changed. They now represent the five main island groups of the country. Overall, the flag has good symbolism with a strong focus on the country's environment. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag has four colors. Those are blue, green, yellow, and white. That's one color more than the recommended maximum of three. All four colors are part of the standard set. The flag has good contrast with the yellow stripes separating the dark blue and green triangles, and the white stars have good contrast on the blue. Overall for color, the flag scores 8.5 out of 10. The flag has no lettering, seals, or coat of arms. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag is distinctive. It bears a slight resemblance to the flag of the Marshall Islands, but there are more than enough differences in these flags to make them easy to tell apart. It also bears a slight resemblance to the flag of Namibia. Both flags have similar blue and green triangles, and both have charged cantons. However, they also have significant differences, and these two flags are easy to tell apart. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. So now we review the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by five to get the average. So for the national flag of the Solomon Islands, we get a final score of 9.5 out of 10. 